fundamentalists, those people, they say heaven is above us. The fundamentalists say heaven is where we make it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So why don't we go for heaven on earth just for the hell of it? <laughs> because we are not here to earn God's love, we're here to spend it. Yeah. Here's how the spending of love works, okay? They talk about what, what is the economy of the future? The economy of the past, that was the house of credit cards economy that fell apart. And in fact, uh, the US dollar is now worth slightly less than a dollar in Monopoly money. Did you know that? <laughs> we have homeopathic currency. <laughs> Slightest trace of value. <laughs> but the good news is this. You know, we have a, a what is it, a $1.9 trillion national debt when the dollar hits zero, we can pay it off and not even feel it. <laughs> but then the question becomes, how do we replace the economy? What is the real economy? What is the real economy? Well, the real economy consists of good goods and greater goodness. The contributions that we are all making and how do we make it? What is money? Money is simply a representation of the energy that we are willing to share. So there's a very famous story about a Texan who comes to uh, Oklahoma, comes to a very small town in Oklahoma, gets to the hotel, and he says, well, I think I'm gonna stay here for the night. He takes a $100 bill, puts it down on the desk of the hotel. Well, the hotel owner goes, wow, I need to pay my alcohol bill. He goes to the guy in the bar, hands the guy in the bar a $100 bill, and the guy in the bar goes, wow, I need to pay for the meat for my sandwiches. Goes to the butcher, hands him a hundred dollar bill. The butcher goes, you know that girl I was with the other night? I owe her a hundred bucks. <laughs> he goes to pay her. And she takes the hundred dollar bill and says, wow, my hotel bill. So she puts the hundred dollar bill back on the desk at the hotel. Well, meanwhile, the Texan comes back and he says, no, I think this is a boring town. I'm leaving. And he takes his hundred dollars. What happened? Everybody got paid. <laughs> this is like an Escher painting, right? How did that happen? How did everybody get paid? Because the value of money is in the circulation, in representation of what things that people want to do and things that people think deserve to be done. How many people out there are spending their energy at a job that means nothing? They're working for the unhealthy, uncaring system, denying people care for a living. What's wrong with this picture? We need to ask, find our own picture. I call it television. I television to you, you television to me. <laughs> and these are the healing and functional visions that are the foundation of the new economy, new and real economy, very important. Medicine is going to change. Medicine is going to become energy medicine. Has anybody here ever had a, a, a magnetic healing session? Anyone? Very powerful, right? I had one about two weeks ago. I was stuck to my refrigerator for three days. <laughs> that was powerful stuff, I'm telling you. So the